Shalom, giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakwarash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutation as always to the elect. And um, I wanted to play an excerpt from this interview, uh, which I haven't finished it yet. But um, this is uh, Dr. Claude Anderson, uh, Jake, who has um, been on various levels of the uh, U.S. government and has <clears throat> worldly accomplishments. And um, in this article, he's uh, speaking. Now, he's not uh, preaching Israel, but uh, a lot of the things that he's saying we can take and apply to the scriptures and can be explained by the scriptures, you know, because you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, your leaders, even when they uh, speak a right, okay, repentance and coming back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is nowhere in the plan, which makes it null and void. Okay, which your true leaders are the prophets, the priesthood. All right, but you know, listening to this uh, brother, there, he 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 says particular things that make sense that we can use to further edify. And I saw a few other brothers did videos on this as well. Now I wanted to play an excerpt from this because you Israelites being scattered amongst the heathen and learning their works has debased you to a point of no return. And it's it's a miracle that we have been blessed to return from the uh, destroyed mind that comes with the curse because, you know, because of disobedience, you know, the Lord has put us on a very, very low level. And it's to the point that, you know, you Israelites have been integrated with these Edomites and you've become absolutely destroyed. OK, and things like civil rights and everything else have been used to further put you in a under a spell of witchcraft okay because being integrated amongst these edomites you know if you look at jake in the uh 50s 60s and 70s even after slavery okay the 20s the 30s you know up to the the 70s i mean when we were on our own we were still flourishing all right, a lot of people talk about Black Wall Street. That that wasn't the only community like that, you see. That's the only one they shed light on. And what did they do to it? Bombed it, destroyed it, <laughs> all right, and, and amongst other things. But that, that, that was not the only section of the earth where Israel, okay, in Oklahoma, where Israel was flourishing like that. And this is after slavery. And if you look at a lot of the families after that, they, they had biblical principles. Now, they weren't in the truth. They didn't know the truth, but they had biblical principles. They had family structure. The woman uh, stayed at home and raised the child. The man went out and worked. We had black businesses. We had uh, uh, printing companies where we could, you know, uh, print our own news. And all of those things were destroyed. Report what we, you know, we were on our own to the, to the you know, to a degree. All right, movie theaters, doctors, and Esau, Edom, created, stirred up some bullshit in the news to where these two girls couldn't get in a white school. Now, why would you even need to get into their school when you're on your own? You, 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 you're well off. You know, even after slavery, you here it is. You, you have businesses, you have families even after the destructive practice of slavery that Esau put on us, and we're flourishing, right? So Esau, there's this situation with these two Jake girls that Esau set up to try to get into a white school and they couldn't get in. And what did they do? They made a big fuss about it in the news and in the newspaper. And what did so-called Negroes do? They jumped on board to fight to get in to Edomite schools, right? And once you were mingled amongst those Edomites, your condition worsened. Okay, integration. You worse. You you your 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 condition worse worsened. You became more sick. You became more freaky. You started learning their way. You started thinking their way. And look where it has got you. Okay. Now I'm gonna play an excerpt from this video, and then I want to get some scriptures because. It's to the point now that you've been uh, amongst Esau so much that you only fight for their cause. 
you only fight for a cause that 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 has nothing to do with you but when it comes to fighting all right for the truth or or, or having an agenda that you know uh supports you 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 niggas get scared why is that because your mind was taken from you the mind being taken away from you is even worse than getting your ass beat for 400 and something years okay because the mind is really what what esau wanted man and during that process of enslavement okay and, and breaking up families what they got was your mind that's the most important thing here see we're changing minds our minds have been changed through the spirit which is why they see us as a threat you see little wayne is no problem they don't they they're not uh angry that little wayne is being little wayne but we can't be israelites a woman could change into a man a man could change into a woman a child can change his sex a man could marry an animal but you can't if you call yourself an israelite <laughs> there's a problem there but i'm gonna play this and then lord willing we'll get a few scriptures how you catch up this show this is a national plan for black folk it says the national plans to empower black americans period and what you first thing you got to do it make a long story short you got to you got to have what you never had in this country that's a group self-interest you've been inculcated and coordinated and brainwashed to believe that you got some obligation and responsibility to save the world you got to save everybody first before you save yourself now i'm a pilot i don't fly anymore i'm too old to be flying but one of the first thing i would tell people on my plane as passengers the first thing you do if we lose cabin pressure and and uh at 30,000 feet, we, lose, we don't have any cabin pressure at night over 10,000 feet. If you lose cabin pressure, a panel over your head will fall down. Mm -hmm. Right. When that mass falls down, the first thing you all should be doing is putting them bass on yourself. Mm -hmm. Quit trying to save everybody. Why does always got black folk marching trying to save it? We're marching for gays. We're marching for women. We're marching for, for poor people. We're marching for the handicapped. And yet you only control one half of 1% of the wealth. You haven't got a snowball's chance. And then in the end of slavery, as I said, you had one half. Now, if you hear what he's saying, we, we say this according to the truth. You know, now, of course, he's speaking, you know, primarily of blacks. But we, 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 we're speaking on behalf of the 12 tribes. And the biggest problem our people have with our doctrine and what we're saying is that it doesn't entail anyone else. See, that was the mind frame of David. David, when he got his dominion, he was of the interest of the 12 tribes of Israel. You see, but as we've been scattered amongst these heathen, learning their ways, we've been debased to the point where we're fighting for their cause and we don't see it no other way. OK, that's how you know your mind is absolutely destroyed when you're told you're a king and a princess. Your first reaction is, well, what about the white people? And see, here it is. You so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans are at the front of all of these marches. That have nothing to do with your power, man. It actually gives power to the enemy. Here it is. You you leave the abortion uh, uh, march for rights on abortion to 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 you know be a mass murder, but then you go to the Trayvon Marley uh, Martin rally and scream about police killing our, our our young men. Okay, then you're at the forefront of the gay rights uh, 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 march. Then you're at the faith, the forefront of the transsexual march and you're marching for all of these things. But when it comes to you and yourself, you don't have any mind to 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 even have anything for yourself. OK, we tell our people that, look, we're going to have a kingdom where we rule. And the first thing they say is, well, well what about the white man? Well, what, what about they don't never ask about the Chinese. Well, what about this? Well, what they, they, it's always about something else, but it's never about themselves because they're uncomfortable hearing that they're going to rule over anything else. And see, that's the thing. Israel, are not, we're not equal with no other nation, man. No other nation is equal with the Israelites, man. And that's what Esau has debased you to through being scattered amongst him. Let me go ahead and get this as uh, Jeremiah 2 and 33. Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Therefore, thou hast taught the wicked one thy ways. Our people have trimmed off that royal mindset to seek love and comfort from nations that don't give a damn about them. As a matter of fact, keeping you in that dumb, debased mind frame gives them more power. They love to see you in a position of being of bowing down in a position of thinking they're better than you. 
see you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you don't you don't see a future without the so-called white man ruling over you. That's why you get so goddamn uncomfortable. Here it is. We're speaking of the government of Yasha Allah, man. The government that Yahweh Shah is going to bring forth. Okay? It said the government shall be on his shoulders, man. Okay, that's going to be the government of the 12 tribes of Israel, man. Okay, so once you Israelites got scattered and mingled amongst these heathen, okay, you learn their ways, which is for their interest, man. And you really believe that you're doing something. This is Psalms 106. And I start at uh, 34. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom Yahweh commanded them. We were commanded to destroy the, 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 the idols of the nations. As a matter of fact, let's get Deuteronomy 12 real quick to give you an example. Okay, we were just to Deuteronomy 12 and 2. Ye shall utterly destroy all the places wherein the nations ye shall possess serve their gods upon their high mountains, upon their hills, and upon every, under every green tree. But instead of doing that, what did you do? You, you, you kept it there and you learned their works. Going to the point. Verse 30, take heed to thyself that thou be not snared uh, by following them after that uh, they be destroyed from before them, the, that thou inquire not after their gods, saying, how did these nations serve their gods? Even so will I do likewise. You see, we have an interest through Yahweh, all right, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. That should be our interest. OK, and they have planned a government to be set up for us to rule in righteousness. The only nation who those righteous ways were given unto were the Israelites. We are not equal. OK, the Lord chose us above all of these different nations, man. But here it is. You're mingled amongst these nations and you're learning their works, which are ways that go against the law, statutes and commandments of the heavenly father which gives you a debased mindset to, work, to the point where you can't even see yourself ruling. Okay, here it is. You talk about this black greatness, black excellence. We jump high. We do this. We got the melanin. But when it comes to talking about ruling over these people, all right, and, and, and getting right with Yahweh by Shemiah was shy, you can't see it. Okay, it says, Thou shalt not do uh, uh, unto the Lord thy God, for every abomination uh, to the Lord, which he hated, have they done unto their gods. For even their sons and daughters, they have burned fire unto their gods. So what did Jake do? As you do unto this day, they did not destroy, Psalms 106 and 34, they did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them, but were mingled among the heathen and learned their works and served their idols which were a snare unto them. And now you've been tricked into civil rights, which you talk about all of these so-called great black leaders. Well, when you look and check it out, all, all the majority of them were doing were begging and fighting to be equal with the devil. You're, you're fighting and marching to be accepted by the devil. Do you really see how stupid and crazy that sounds? You're fighting to be equal with Satan with the children of Satan. And that's the legacy that you want to boast in and leave behind for your children, man. Instead of having your own in a mindset of ruling over the heathen. You see, you were mingled among the heathen, integrated among the heathen, and you learn their works, man. Being integrated amongst these heathen has absolutely destroyed you Israelites, man. Civil rights. Civil rights was a snare that you here it is you're crying and marching to be equal with them and then what do they do right after that well what, what about the gay right what about the transgender right what about this right what about that right they since blacks can ask for rights now we can do this now we can do that and look what they've done off of the back uh, of that so-called movement which the NAACP was all set up by so-called Jews Martin Luther King was set up by so-called Jews. His speech, I Have a Dream, was written by Stanley Levinson, a so-called Jew. It wasn't written by him. You see? And Martin Luther King himself admitted that he led his people into a burning house. 
okay? Trying to be integrated amongst these devils, man. You see that? But do they ever play that on every Martin Luther King Day? Do they ever play that? No, they show a picture of him and Barack Obama to keep you in further enslavement mentally, man. Okay, because Yahweh Shimia Shah is gonna we're gonna set up our own government, man. Isaiah 9 and 6 for unto us who the Israelites a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be up on his shoulder. Now the, the, the beauty about this word government is when you look it up. Let's see here. When you look up that word government, it's Mashara. Okay? Uh, nine and six. Government. All right? Mashara. Okay? Dominion, rule, government. Okay? And the root word is Shara, right? To contend, to have power. Now, when you go to the promise or when J Jacob's name was changed, was that uh, Genesis 26, I believe? Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll go here. Yep. Hold up. <clears throat> Deuteronomy, I mean, uh, maybe Genesis 32. Yep, Deuteron Genesis uh, 32 and 28. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince, thou hast power with God and with men and has prevailed. You see that? Now, when you look up that, that, that word for, for power, the power that we were promised was that government. Shara. So that government is for the Israelites, you see? And when we talk about this, the heathen lose their damn mind. You see that? Because they wanna keep you in that mind frame of looking to them, which that's the curse. Them being the, the, the head and you being the tail is the curse. <laughs> that's the curse. Hold up. Deuteronomy 28 and 44, speaking of the heathen, this is the curse. He shall lend unto thee, and thou shalt not lend unto him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Off of your ignorance, off of your disobedience, these heathen nations who you are among, scattered among the heathen, that's the narrative. The stranger that is within thee shall get above thee very high, because you will be scattered amongst him. And thou shalt come down very low. But when you go up to verse 13, the, the promise is if we were obedient, the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If thou have hearkened, all right, if that thou hearkened to the commandments of Yahweh thy God, which I commanded thee this day to observe and do them all. So the the the, the overall point of this video is that we're not equal to the heathen man and see they've played on jake's mind and emotion all right by by pushing that on them and you israelites won't can't cannot see that you're above these heathen and it's spiritual we're above you it's not by carnal means it's not by of course yeah we jump higher yeah we look better but the what makes us better is that we were chosen by yahweh by shimia Shah to be better man deuteronomy 7 and 6 for thou art an holy people all right, unto the Lord thy God, Yahweh thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So we are above you. We're not equal with you. And see, coming back to that mindset has these nations absolutely fear in fear, man. This is what Vocab Malone does not want to see. Amos 9 and 11. In that day, I will raise up the tabernacle of david that is fallen and close up the breach thereof and i will raise up his ruins and build it as in the days of old okay that's what's happening let's get second samuel 22 or first samuel 22 
This is David when he got the throne. 2 Samuel 22. And I'll just get to the point. In 41. Thou hast given me the necks of mine enemies that I might destroy them that hate thee. Okay? They looked, but there was none to save them, even unto Yahweh, but he answered them not. Then did I beat them as small as the dust of the earth, and I did stamp them as the mire of the street, and did spread them abroad. Okay? Verse 45. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. As soon as they hear me, they shall be obedient unto me. See, this is the mind frame that we are coming into, and this is what the heathen ultimately fear. But being scattered amongst these devils, you Israelites have lost that mind frame. You've lost that holy mind frame. You lost that, you know, uh, um, you know, now you got it on Madden. You know, when you're playing Madden, you, you this. Or when you're playing basketball, you that. And when you're doing this or when you're doing something carnal, I'm the best this, I'm the best that. You bragging, boasting your raps. But when it comes to talking about ruling over these heathen and, 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 and teaching them how to live in righteousness, you, you turn into a mental midget, man. You see? And going back to this interview, he says some of these things, but he says it from a, a, a viewpoint of the world and actually getting something in this world. But see, we're going to have the world. We don't want a piece of the pie here. Of course, if the Lord blesses us with a little more money, a little whatever, you know, we'll take it. All right. But we're not going to sell our soul. And ultimately, we understand that we're going to have the world in our hands under Yahweh Shai. Half of 1%, guess what? The average white person at that point in time had 3,500 times more wealth than the average black. That means that 99% of everything in this country was, was in the white society and is still in the white society. I don't care from, from Vermont all the way to California, San Diego. 98% of everything of value is locked in, in the white society. 87% of it's frozen, locked into white society. You can't get it out. So all you gotta compete for is about 13% is up for grabs. Mm. And if black folk don't know how to compete for that 13 percent, you are through. And right now, that's, that's what's happening around the world. You, you damn these, sure are through. We're going to implode in this country. Same thing happening now, happening in Germany with the Jews. And there was a book out called Hitler's Willing Exit. All right, so I just wanted to go into that. You know, um, Shalom.